Folks, that was Shamima telling us about her favorite horse, Gigi, and how she enjoys working with her. Shamima and her family are just as dependent on Gigi for their income as Gigi is on them for food and shelter. If they don't take care of Gigi, she cannot take care of them. Shamima is also the only, is also only one of two women working on the carts in this male-dominated industry. Hey, hello, folks. Uh, Karen Mirica here from the Cart Horse Protection Association, and you are watching Coffee with Cart Do you do you work for a company that has a matched giving program? like Standard Bank and Visa. How it works, if you donate 500 Rand to us, your company will also donate 500 Rand, hence match giving. If you do, please let us know and we can send them our FICA documents <clears throat> and due diligence information to get onto their platform. We would also like to thank Utando again for visiting us last Wednesday and for giving us the opportunity to tell our story to their visiting international um, visitors of the very important work that we do, which is, of course, looking after the hard-working cart horses on the Cape Flats. Today's lineup, we interview Tabele, Zero Tolerance, Overloading and MBAs. You definitely do not want to miss out on this program so please stay tuned hi everyone we are here today talking to Tabile um, our new Ekman welfare practitioner trainee and we're just here to find out how his first month has been Tabile how has it been for you so far <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's been great so far and it's marvelous to be here and uh, I love it you love it yes. uh, also but you're no stranger to the Cape Flats and the area, so no, no, was there any no. major eye openers for you? Uh, I, I know the, the Cape Flats, I've been working with the Cape Flats, I have no problem even the environment, the style of the language, everything I know, I understand what's going on, and uh, yeah. Uh, for the eye opener, I would say uh, the cleaning of the horses, the, the, the teeth and the gums, it was a... Uh, a great thing to see yes, and it was the first time to see and I would love to see it again. Awesome. Yes. Is, is there any particular area that you've enjoyed more because you've done the clinic, you've done deworming, you've seen the teeth, you've done patrolling, is there uh, any specific I, area or, or, or veterinary? Or you... uh, I, I love both of them, the, the field web and the veterinary because I've been doing that yes, from the, 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 the previous employee, employer and uh, uh, the, the field work, it, it makes me to understand the, the animal owners, the horse owners yes. specifically. That's where I will get more information, the, the, the history of the animal. You will know from the, the owner, then you will be able to do the veterinary clinics. Yes. Uh, because you know the, the history of that animal, then you can treat the animal in a perfect way because you know everything. Even the root of the, maybe the the bruises or the injuries or the horse diseases, you must know first from the owner. Net, it, yes, yes, networking yes. is verified. And relationships. Yeah. yeah, that's where you will get the information, then you diagnose the, 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 the problem of the horse. Yes, yes. yes, that's where you will be correct. And tell me, what difference have you seen the cart horses made over the years? Uh, so, in, your, in your opinion, are we making yeah, a big difference? Uh, yes, uh, 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 with big yes, I can see. Uh, 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 I see the, the the month that I'm here. I see that uh, the cut was someone who established who established the cut was. Uh, she or he was a, a great guy, and he's still a great guy even now because I see the progress uh, to teach the horse owners. It's not an easy thing. Yes, and uh, also 
uh, I see now that he, they are getting there, at least they know how to feed their animals, how to prevent the bruises, the injuries, the and cause diseases through cut horse, yes, the teachings, yes. and uh, yeah. Uh, uh, to collaborate yeah. working together, yeah. and how they stables and, and everything. Yes. Thank Tabini, thanks so much for, for joining us today. We really appreciate your input, and um, best of luck going forward. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> All good. It was an awesome interview with Tabile. He's really <clears throat> loving being working with Cartos and um, yeah, it was great chatting to him and catching up. Folks, up next, Zero Tolerance. On Wednesday, the 9th of March, while patrolling, our new EWP trainee, Tabile again, came across an overloaded horse. The poor soul was under condition, her feet in a shocking state, and pulling a load she could not possibly pull. The horse was trucked immediately to our recovery and rehabilitation center where she received all the nutrition she needed and a lovely, clean, dry, and soft bed to sleep in for the night. Folks, this is another reason why we really need your donations. Keep us on the road and working in the field on the Cape Flats. We took a video of it and have a look. Um, um, Natasha and Sepp and the, um, Tubbs, they were out at SA Metal, they saw the horse, they called me and I think 100% it was the correct call, you can see the condition, they've put on the group what, what the horse was pulling, but look at the condition of the horse here, you can see the ribs, um, complete body score, I don't know, Natasha, what do you say, moderate, knock on to under, underweight, eh? That's underweight, uh, underweight, yeah, and that's not all, and and it's all standing out, he's got wounds. And you've got wounds at the and front the here. And is long, broken shoes. Some of the shoes are missing here. Yeah. And, and, uh, and the driver was the same driver, except that you guys saw when you went to do yes. that other ins yes, inspection for SBCA. It's the same driver that we saw last time when we were doing the patrolling. So what do you think? It was the right call? I was 100% correct. Okay. Yeah. I think I agree with you guys. Brilliant call. Thanks, guys. Okay. Herbie, where do you want him? Sip, I want you with the horse. I want you with the horse. Say again, Herbie. Where did you say? Just ask him. Where do you want the horse? Inspector, ask Inspector, in Inspector. Yes, yes. I know this, yeah. Oh, there by Jas, um, 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 Jan Fong's old stable. Yes. Just wait, I want to bring you, okay. oh, I'm just standing. When you bring the horse down a slope, then you normally try and keep the head elevated. It will prevent the horse from slipping. Okay, come. Yeah. Come. He will slip, so there we go, there we go, oh. Sip. That's it. That's it. Well done. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's it. Okay. He's going to go into the stable here. This here, Abby? Yes. Okay. Okay. And you take him in, you turn him around, turn him around, let him look your side. And now, when it's free for you to go outside, you unhook him. Okay. Oh, you can't unhook him. Mm -hmm. So I take off the complete halter. Take the halter off. Um, try at the front by the nose. Is there not? Oh, yeah, you can do it at the top there as well. Yeah, yeah, you can do this as well. That's it, Sip. There we go. 
And now you can talk to him, you can tell him he's going to be safe and he's going to be okay and he's going to have a good role as well. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> no more scrap No more abnormal loads. Um, and Taps, you think it was a good goal from you guys? Hey, yes, yes, yes. I it was so wonderful good. to catch them uh, so that they can stop abusing their, their horses. And you're not even trained yet? Yes. He's loving it. <laughs> And they call him, is it a he? Oh yeah, she, they, she. it's a she. Mm. They call her Pride. Okay, there we go. Thanks, guys. Thank you. You guys got to get help. I appreciate it. Thanks. Well done, guys. Well done. Oh, uh, Taryn is going to be so jealous that she missed out. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Wow, I promise you, sitting here after watching, after working here for almost five years now, this kind of abuse still brings tears to my eyes. But seeing Pride roll in the shavings and looking out the window and just sort of knowing that she's safe is just an amazing, amazing feeling for us all. And as you can see, that was also a great learning experience for our new EWPs. Folks, if you've just tuned in, you are watching Coffee with Cart Horse live. Please like and follow us on all the social media platforms. We are streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. So if you have any gaming friends, please let them know. Um, please share far, far and wide. We need as much support and as much awareness as possible. Um, and if you are making a donation, then please remember to um, leave us a reference, coffee, um, so we know what you are referencing, what, what donation you're referencing. And up next is our MBA on the bridge. A few weeks ago, Georgie Boy was hit in a hit and run. A truck drove by too close and hit the cart, shattering it in half. We were able to be on the scene within minutes to check on Georgie Boy's condition. Thank goodness he only had a scratch, but both the driver and the horse were clearly shaken up. The cart horse owners know we are just a phone call away 24-7. A few years ago, a horse named Amber had just come back from the market and spooked at a dead dog lying on the left-hand side of the road and veered into the right lane. Her cart was struck by a truck that was traveling in the same direction and also did a hit and run. Amber was not so lucky. After x-rays and a visit to the Blue Cross vet, it was decided to put her to sleep as her injuries were too severe. Folks, with your donations, we are able to get to the scene of the accident as soon as possible and are able to give these precious souls the best vet care possible. Once again, um, please don't forget to reference your donation, hashtag coffee or put coffee with your name and surname in the reference so that we know what you are donating towards. And up next, people and their pets in the Ukraine. I'm sure we all have been following the heartbreaking stories that we've been seeing, but I followed the story on KFM of Kurbis Ulifi, living in war-torn Kiev, who is originally from Cape Town. Kurbis was prepared to wait out the war in Ukraine and vowed he would not leave unless, unless he could get out safely with his dogs. I'm staying because of my dogs. I'll never leave them. It's not even an option. After some time, Kubis, Mama, Tiki, Oli, Kaya, and Jesse finally made it out safely. Folks, I personally could not imagine having to be in that position and having to leave my fur babies behind either. And there are so many stories of people leaving Ukraine with their clothes on their backs, with their beloved pets in tow. This is a sad, 
sad time indeed. If you have missed any of our interesting episodes, you can still access them on our Facebook page and YouTube channel, There is Something for Everyone. And you can see firsthand, as today's program, where your donations are going to. Until next Wednesday, be safe and take care.